Hey everybody, this is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, and today we're meeting one of my favorite species of North Carolina snake, the corn snake. Now this is Richard, and Richard is actually my personal pet corn snake. He's the only pet I have, that's a question I get a lot, and I absolutely love him. I've actually had Richard since he was a little baby, about this long, but now you can see that Richard is pretty much a fully grown adult corn snake. Now at maximum size, corn snakes usually are between four and six feet long. So they are a little bit smaller than their close cousin, the black rat snake. But both of these species are actually in the Panthropus or rat snake genus. So just like their cousins, corn snakes are constrictors. What they'll do is wait and ambush or sometimes pursue their prey. They'll get one bite and then they'll just wrap around their prey with their muscular coils slowly getting tighter and tighter until the prey can no longer breathe and then it is swallowed whole. Now as rat snakes, you can probably guess that corn snakes do indeed eat a lot of rats. Interestingly though, corn snakes, because they are so similar to the other rat snakes here in North Carolina, seem to be a more coastal associated species. I've never actually seen a corn snake here in the Piedmont of North Carolina or in the mountains, but I did recently have an encounter with a wild corn snake, my very first wild corn snake encounter at the coast, and I'll show you that footage right now. This is an absolutely adorable little corn snake. Now you can see he's being very defensive right now. I have never seen a rat snake be this defensive before. He's totally adorable. Now we do need to move him off the road. You can see all those swipes at me. He's saying, back up, I'm venomous. Obviously he's not, but he thinks he is. Look at that. Look at that strike pose. But it's still just a corn snake as angry as he is at my face. So he was headed this direction. We're gonna help him get across the road. We've already seen lots of dead corns. I think almost six dead corns at this point in time. So I'm glad we were able to rescue this one. But he's still coiled up. So this is where he was trying to get to. And hopefully, he won't try and cross the road again. Stay safe. Now, while that little guy was definitely pretty excited and a little bit defensive, you can see that typically corn snakes are very calm animals. Of course, Richard is my pet, so he's used to being held by humans. But other than that one small wild corn snake I found, most of the other videos I've seen of corn snakes, they are typically very calm, very docile snakes, just like you'd expect from other large rat snakes. There's absolutely no reason to fear corn snakes. And the only problem with their patterning, while it is absolutely gorgeous, you have all these different shades of yellow and orange throughout their range, is that it can be confused for the venomous copperhead. Now, if you look on Richard here, you can see the top of his pattern is basically just circles, kind of rectangular blotches. And on the side, you have more of those circular, that circular, I can't talk, circular or rectangular blotches on the side. Now, the patterning is gonna be very different across different individual corn snakes in different geographic areas, but you're never gonna have that distinctive Hershey kiss shape pattern that you would see on a copperhead. And also body shape wise, you can see that Richard is built like a constrictor. He's much longer and more thin than those kind of stocky bodied pit vipers would be. Um, but they really are just absolutely gorgeous snakes. They're very, very common pets because they are so calm and so easy to take care of. Um, but they do exist natively in all parts of North Carolina. If you're lucky, you could see this species in the wild everywhere from the farthest western mountains to right up on the beach. Ecologically, corn snakes are an extremely important part of our native ecosystems here. Because they are very large snakes, they represent a lot of energy. And while there isn't very much that would prey on an adult corn snake like Richard, lots of raptors, you know, any of our native hawks, sometimes our owls, um, and then also invasives like domestic dogs or cats would eat a corn snake, and that would be a very substantial meal for any predator. In the wild, an adult corn snake like Richard would also be preying on a huge variety of different species, everything from small rodents to lizards to amphibians to maybe even smaller snakes um, could possibly be on the menu for a corn snake of this size. And because of that, 
these provide important population checks for all those different species. So not only are they balancing the trophic levels below them, but they're also providing energy for those top tier consumers, such as birds of prey. But guys, corn snakes are just absolutely beautiful. It has been an absolute treat owning one um, and just being able to see him grow for these past couple of years. And the wild corn snake we saw was a real treat as well. I mean, that was just a really gorgeous animal. As you can see, these corn snakes are not only ecologically important, they're also very docile. They're basically free pest control for you, so there's absolutely no reason to fear a corn snake if you are lucky enough to see one in the wild. All right, everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the corn snake. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming on Saturday mornings as often as possible. Also, if you haven't already, go follow my Twitter and Instagram at The Wild Report for photos and video clips from my adventures. Thanks so much for watching and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.